But like, is there a, a particular thing that you saw in your education where you're like, I just wouldn't do it this way. I just wouldn't teach it this way. Because being an educator yourself right now, would you be like, oh, I've changed my way of teaching to this because I think this gets out that passion in those people? This is relatively new for me, but I think if I would change anything in any education, it's to get rid of grades. Mm. That's very powerful. That That's a very powerful statement. Grading students and assigning grades, and we see this especially in math, when we have some kind of dichotomy of right, wrong, that there's, you get the answer on the test or you don't get the answer on the test. And if you don't get it, you're a failure. And it really pushes people out of math. Mm -hmm. And that not having grades does not have this effect. So, so not my answer to grades. your big question of mm -hmm. what would I change, I would get rid of grades. So get rid of grades as in like no exams? Or like still exams, but you're not graded or like you get feedback or like I mean, what's we the... would have to think about why do we want to have an exam what's the purpose of an exam my my, my always because my thought of an exam is in in a real life scenario you're going to have like a deadline you're going to have like a stressful situation certainly, certainly. so you're going to have a period in your life where you're going to have to apply probably a lot of the things that you learned in like a 40 minute period you're do like you oh think... shoot i don't know how realistic it is because i'm still in 40 minutes though? i don't know i don't know <laughs> maybe do not. you think maybe not at any point in your life after university someone will put you in a room with some paper and no other external tools that's and ask you to solve too. some that, problems I guess that's a big thing too the no external tools thing is also a very controversial like why do you but know? i think to be fair like exams are an okay way of saying like Oh, how well did you actually like absorb some of the material? Like it's, it's do you some believe way. that? Do you do you believe that it, the uh, like an examination is a good way to test if a student has understood the so, material? Parker said an okay way. I said okay. He said okay, I, but I'm asking you now. I don't like exams. I'm just saying that it's 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 a it's a valid way to be like yeah, I can do some of these questions that are related to the material because I understood it. What about you? I, I really want to know your, your, your thought on the I exam. I think that's certainly true for some students. I think there are students who, under non-test situations, can fully explain and answer problems. And then when there is a test, that, like some anxiety kicks in, that your brain freezes when you go, I don't know what to do. A lot of, and for those students, of they are very much being punished by having exams that do not consider them. Yeah. It's a little sad. A little sad that there is. But we, like, but we just have to think about what do we need, what do we want from exams? And if it is a student to demonstrate that they understand something, are there other ways that we can do this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's actually really powerful because like the whole, I mean, this is such a taboo and not like, you know, such a common thing to say, like the whole education system is so bad because it's been like everything has changed, modernized in the last 200 years. Education system has been the one thing that stayed almost the exact same, you know, with like the teacher in front of the board teaching 30 sure. kids. Like, the lecture. Or like the, 30, the lecture. I wish. The lecture. 30. I mean, the, the idea. The 250, idea. give me, yeah. I get, yeah. okay, sorry. The university, definitely much bigger, but uh, the idea of the, like, the lecturer-student interaction is, is always basically the same, has been the same. So I guess like changing it up, like I believe, I believe it's a country, Finland or Sweden, or one of those countries that have, has got rid of grades completely and has actually seen a quite a large increase in the productivity of its citizens because of literal removing grades from high school. How do you measure that though? Because I believe the way that they did it or the study that I was seeing was like percentage of like CEOs or like successful businessmen or something like that in the area. Or so sometimes I listen it was to some this measure. And I Ray throws out a lot of unsourced yeah things. no <laughs> believe me i so will for this one he's gonna Very put a true. link in the description i'm gonna i'm gonna find the link you don't have I'm to gonna find, find it now but it's gonna go in <laughs> so we can go look check it out <laughs> I, I want to know about I this do, i'm very interested <laughs> to hear about this there are definitely no because i read i saw this whole video dedicated to changing like education systems mm -hmm. and it was talking about like this one country that had removed grades and it had seen like more successful stuff it was either, again, I don't want to pull it out because I, I, I will cite it, I will cite it, 
but I just wanted to mention because like you're talking about grades and you're talking about how like the effect of grades. So I wanted to say that yeah, it's had it's happened before. <laughs>